Parade Marshal Cheryl Irvin brings the battlefield postward. She comes in with a lifetime best, 151, with career earnings over a million one. Owned by Ronald Jackson and Tamela Boslaw. Trained by Lewis Boslaw and driven by Northfield's Kelly O'Donnell. Number one is Shady Daisy. He sports a career best, 51 and two, with earnings over a million two. Owned by Dan Kramer, the Denim Stable, and David Citronbaum. Trained by Fred Grant. And driven by Wally Hennessy, number two is Cam Best. He carries a lifetime 52 and four and has earned over a million dollars thus far in his career. On trained and driven by Ray Schnitker, number three is Covert Action. This late bloomer sports a lifetime 51 and four mark with earnings over 85,000. Bred, owned and trained by Travis Mack and driven by Brian Barnes, number four, there goes the buck. He comes in with a career best 53 and four and has banked over 300,000 owned by Carl Gregg, trained by Steve LeBlanc and driven by Northfield's Jealousy Jr. Number five is Radium Hanover. The fastest gelding in history at 150 and one, he sports career earnings of nearly 500,000 owned by Robert Hamather. Trained by Robert McIntosh, driven tonight by Dave McGee. Never sucks is staying together. This local star earned his battle start with a lifetime 54 into three invite win last week. He's banked over 150,000 career, owned by James Taylor and Charles Elam. Trained by Doug Gosney, driven tonight by Ken Holliday. Number seven is Ernest Andy. And completing this year's field, the world's fastest pacer on a half mile track at 150 and four. He carries a lifetime 49 and four with earnings over 725,000. Owned by Lenio and Anthony Montini with Keith Wables. Trained by William Robinson and driven by past battle winning rangeman Trevor Ritchie. Number eight is Silver Amherst. There are the pacers for this year's War on the Shore. The battle will commence in four minutes. <laughs> The field moves in behind the wings of the Jerry Johnson starting gate. From the rail, Shady Daisy and Kelly O'Donnell, Cam Best and Wally Hennessy, covert action, Ray Schnitker. There goes the buck with Brian Barnes, Radium Hanover, Joe Essig Jr. Staying together, Dave McGee. Ernest Andy, Ken Holliday, and on the outside, Silver Amherst with Trevor Ritchie. The field moves to the top of the stretch. And here they come. For the eighth annual War on the Shore, this is the 1993 $100,000 Battle of Lake Erie. Ready, aim, fire! It's Silver Amherst from the outside. Goes out looking for the lead canvas between horses up at the rail. There she goes, Shady Daisy. Shady Daisy takes over length in three quarters. Canvas racing a second on the rail. Covered action third on the outside. Silver Amherst is fourth. There goes the buck out of a fifth. On the outside, come staying together, racing on the rail, Radium Hanover. The early trailers, Ernest Andy. They travel down for the quarter mile mark of the race and barreling right out to take the top. Cam Best, he's over there in 27 and one. Into the far turn the first time. It's Shady Daisy, second on length and a half. Covert action is there, third on the outside. Silver Amherst is fourth. Hubble on the outside now showing fifth. Mm, it's staying together. They're in the lane, heading down to the halfway point of the race. And as they pass the stands, out on top, it's Cam Best leading a length in three quarters. Shady Daisy looking him over second. Up on the outside, Silver Amherst now third. Covert action, fourth on the outside, staying together, fifth. There goes the buck, sixth on the outside, Ernest Dendy. And your trailer, Radium Hanover, the half, 56 and one. Around the clubhouse, turn to go. It's her payoff half mile. Cam Best starts him into the back lane, has that lead a length in three quarters. Shady Daisy is still second by a neck. Hung off the rail, Silver Amherst third. All on the inside, covert action moving up on the outside now is staying together. Then it's there, goes the buck on the outside, Ernest Andy and Radium Hanover. They pass the three quarters, one, 24 and four. On the turn, they're flying home in the Battle of Lake Erie. And it's Cam Best, has that lead a length and a quarter. On the rail, Shady Daisy, now on the outside. 
Here comes staying together. Around they come for the top of the lane. They're on a drive for the wire. And Cam Best turns them down. Has that lead at two and a half. Shady Daisy coming at him, trying to close. But at the wire, Cam Best has met the competition. They are his in a new track record, 152 and three. That also, of course, is a new Battle of Lake Erie record. Cam Best recording his ninth victory of the year. He's a five-year-old brown son of Cam Fella from Oxford, Mary. Owned by Dan Kramer, the Denham Stable, and David Citrenbaum. Trained by Fred Grant and driven tonight to that track record performance by Mr. Wally Hennessy. Trackside making the trophy presentation to Cam Best and his connections. We have the chairman of Northfield Park Harness, Mr. Carl Milstein. And accompanying Mr. Milstein in the presentation, the man who put together this year's battlefield, he did it in fine style as he always has done, director of racing, Mr. Greg Keitel. Most time for the next race. Tonight's 14th race is 17 minutes away. Both trifecta and a perfecta wagering. In the 14th race, there are no changes. Of all time, all age track record here at Northfield, 152 and three on a good track. It's less than 60 degrees out. Uh, what kind of mile could it have been? Actually, that track's pretty good right now. You know, it's, I don't think you get it much better. Maybe a little sticky, but it's fast. And uh, you know, we have no wind tonight. But uh, actually, you know, he, he could have went a little bit more, anyways, tonight. All right, Wally, great job. Congratulations on winning the 8th annual $100,000 Battle of Lake Erie. Congratulations also to Fred Grant and owners Dan Kramer, the Denim Stable, and David Citronbaum. Great job, Wally. Okay, thanks. And fans, hang around. Little, little round of applause first for Wally Hennessy and Cam Best. Thanks, man.